Previously on the Six Gaming Podcast. What's going on, everybody? Welcome to this week's edition of the Six yeah. Gaming Podcast. Yeah, man. You can click I on always show son. Right. Why is it with these people talking over your intro? Right. We have a lot of people sitting here talking over. I'm it's sorry. Hard. It's hard to rope everyone in. It's like herding cats. It, it really is. We have the yeah, most rate leading on the show of our uh, closest friends here to crawl all over Veg's room. We're good to go. Right. Like, the, like the one on the wall behind the back there. I mean, everybody else can see it. He can't because he's looking at the screen. It's right here. <laughs> but, but it's imagine right there. trying to herd spiders with your hands, like you're trying to herd them, but then they crawl all over your arms and up your arms, under your face. And they eat your face. What the fuck is wrong with you people? <laughs> oh, really? Right back there by the air vent. You can see it right behind him. I see it. It's huge. It's clear. Um, I have a camera, and I can see perfectly fine. The worms are looking at the wrong airbags. You're in trouble. Worms, take knuckle on your snow. <laughs> <laughs> so all the way down here at the end, we of course have lovely Miss Amy sitting on the couch right next to her. Go ahead and introduce yourself again. It's a uh, tactical squirrel. She is rolling. This is great. All right, up next, our very own Scotch <laughs> drinker. Hammer. <laughs> oh, you're you uh, I okay. Yo, what's uh, up? It's Dan. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm trying to push things along, you know. Our very own spider fan, <laughs> Veg, and yeah. I'm not a fan. I'm an immortal enemy. Spider Man, Spider Man does whatever a spider can. That's <laughs> Spider Pig. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> up next, you going? You going? Our very own rocket scientist. <laughs> How's it going, folks? Us. Camera works tonight. Yeah, camera's broke. No. Our getting very old co-host. Hey, I am yeah. not the birthday boy, but I do have uh, something to show off today. So, uh, we don't for my it. birthday, I got two items that oh. I'd like to show off. First of all, this very lovely "What If" book. <laughs> Awesome. If you haven't read it, you should. Absolutely, go pick and it up. And then this thing is the best thing ever, and we're going to try to find a way to put this behind me for the podcast. This is, is, this... This is the Portal oh, 2 awesome. shower curtain. Oh, dude, nice. that is awesome. Now, the Enrichment Center reminds you that the material emancipation grid will not emancipate dirt, oils, or body odor from your person. For the benefit of your fellow test subjects, cleanse your body in the provided bathing facilities. To avoid expenditures on eye bleach, please do your personal cleansing behind this curtain. Thank you for your cooperation. You know yep. it's going to be a quality product. I mean, shower curtains were the original item that Aperture Science uh, tried to sell off to government contractors. Absolutely. Yes. There you go. And Wait, didn't they lose to Black Mesa? Then of course. Yeah, we don't talk about Black Mesa. Oh, Freaking Black Mesa. <laughs> 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 they screw everything up. I'd also like to point out that uh, Girl Gamer says that Dan is cute. Unfortunately, Dan is taken. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm not good at strategy type games. You're not good at anything like that ends with game. Uh, <laughs> kick your ass in Heroes of the Storm. Um, you can't even kick my ass in League. How are you going to kick me in Heroes of the Storm? You cheat in League. How can't cheat, cheat in Heroes? What? He cheats. And he'll kick you with his big toe. Yeah, right. You guys That's ever seen game that game gif game. where the guy goes, "Gabe, no, Gabe," and his wallet gets sucked up into his computer and you see all the purchases get okay. lined up from his uh, thing. He's like, "No," and you just see Gabe in the background just laughing. Yeah. Pretty accurate. So let's talk MOBAs for a bit because you know we're all big fans of MOBAs. What? Multiplayer player online battle arena. Amy, keep up. Get with it. <laughs> we're gonna move on to our League of Legends news. Dan, wait. Scotch. Scotch. Oh, Scotch. hold on. How? Actually, tonight I'm drinking uh, Kentucky uh, bourbon. Ooh, bourbon. Oh, bourbon. Veg also lost. That was kind of surprising. Right. Yeah. What happened? I, I have no clue. What did you let Coles do to you? Um, the same thing that he's doing to you this week, apparently. Well, since uh, everything was all Fallout 4 all the time this week, I was like, you know, I'm going to go back and play Fallout 3. Yep. So I went back and uh, bought the DLCs the day before they went on sale on, uh, on Steam. <laughs> and noticed he... afterwards that I played more than two hours before and before uh, I'm noticing that they went on sale. And so I couldn't even do the Steam refunds. You know, I can't stop myself from just screaming Nacho every time that he does something cool. <laughs> of course. Yeah, Cole's kept begging me and begging me to try it out, which was Final Fantasy XIV. Uh, and, I, and I have to admit, it's actually pretty good. Yeah. Are you talking about the online one? Yeah, the yeah, online that's one. That's the online. Yeah, not the, not the shitty Part 2 13 bullshit with 
lightning, fuck that bitch. So, um... Wow. <laughs> no. That's how you really feel. She's annoying and stupid. <laughs> Uh-oh. Fetch is angry. Like Jesse Cox says, there's no point in playing the game because every end result is the same. Settle down, chunk. <laughs> Fetch is angry. Right. <laughs> anyway. And we're going to see the triple shuffle chunk. soon if he uh, keeps it up. Right. Do shuffle shuffle. <laughs> Um, not. As well as Destiny, not as much as I should, because Rhett's been getting really angry at me. Um, <laughs> yes, I am. You're an asshole. We're supposed to get me up to level thirty something. Yeah, that's your fault too. Um, <laughs> I, I completely disagree. For the record, um, I'm not supposed to carry you through everything. I'm already carrying my fat. I don't need to in the planet. I don't need to be carrying you too. Oh, all you need to carry is a controller. The game has nothing to do with your fat. Wow. This is like that time when Daddy hit Mommy at the dinner table. <laughs> <laughs> well, except with uh, Smite, it actually has a recurring value. So, yeah, Good point. Recurring value. Good point. Not Ben sided with me on this one. I like it. I'm phrase? just trying to figure out what, the fr what that phrase means. Okay, it has <laughs> better value. <laughs> Leave me alone. Words mean Word. things. Word. Reoccurring means better. <laughs> yes. No, reoccurring does not mean better. Reoccurring. Well, you just interchange those words. What am I supposed to think? <laughs> when you can seriously go buffalo, 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 and be that a legit sentence, I'm done. GG. Yes. Good night. So, uh, you guys remember our uh, raid leader got banned for yep. six months. Yeah. So, so we've been taking in new tanks and trying out new tanks and. A couple weeks ago, we started running with this Death Knight tank, and I'm a tank. I know you're a tank, yeah. but you're not online when we raid, right? And when you are, we're doing like heroic, and you can't do that because you suck. <laughs> I'm a stone cutter. We're running, and um, all of a sudden, for the first time ever, the guy starts talking on our team's chat and says, "Hey, who's this Death Knight tank? This guy sucks." And it turns out it was that raid leader that got banned. He started up a new account. Nice. Made it to 100 and sneaked onto our raid team somehow. Are you oh, serious? Yeah. This is the six gaming roundtable. So, every week, what I do is I pose a question to you guys, and I expect a decent freaking answer. Um, except from this week, because I was out of ideas when I put this together. Are we the first generation of gamers to get old? I, so, I, I, hold on, hold on, hold on. I have to take this first because I have to ask this question. Are you poking fun at the fact that I just had a birthday? <laughs> I just I just had a birthday last Friday. Or no, it was like two Fridays ago. Well, I I know. Yeah, you go back. But that, be careful. <laughs> she goes way not back. Not that far back. <laughs> not that not that like Civil War far yeah, back. And I, and I've noticed as I've gotten older, especially since I have a kid now, like how I play changes. I mean I've yeah. I've done a lot more on uh remote play on my Vita playing PS4 games on there. Or right. just playing a lot more portable games on the Vita or 3DS or something like that. Anything I can shut off at a moment's notice, especially with, with a small kid, is, is something that's been really helpful. If I'm playing and I'm dying a lot right. on pretty much any game that has a difficulty slider, I'll turn the difficulty down. I, I used to really be against it. I was like, you know, you're, it's a challenge, it's part of the game, and sure. you shouldn't turn the, the difficulty down because that's just being lame. But now I I play unless it becomes a face roll. If it's like super easy and there's yeah. no challenge at all, then it's no fun, and I might as well just watch someone play it on YouTube. But I try to adjust it so that I have the threat of dying or losing or whatever if I don't pay attention. Mm -hmm. But for the most part, I don't want to have to replay the same segment five, six, seven, eight times, unless maybe it's a boss. You know, sure. but but like a regular segment, I'm not going to play it over and over again, just so that I can I can prove something to myself. I'd rather get through the game. Whether or not I will go back and replay a segment of the game depends on how much fun the game is to play. Absolutely. Um, and I keep mentioning Crypt of the Necro Dancer every week. It, I I will replay that because it's still fun. It's, it's right. the, the gameplay is uh, challenging, but also to me it's rewarding. Uh, if you don't have that reward there, there's no reason to play it on a higher difficulty. Sure. Um, another example is uh, I'm learning to play Descent with the mouse as opposed to just keyboard. Um, 
and Good I'm choice, slowly Dick. ramping up the difficulty on the robots in the single player campaign. Whereas if I'm we we're just playing normally, I wouldn't do that. I'd just play at a difficulty that suits my pace. Right. When Paul's about nine or ten, I actually had a network in my house. Mm -hmm. All the kids would get together and we'd all sit around in the consoles playing Doom Three. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. Yeah, we murdered each other, and Mom got really, really mad. <laughs> yeah. Because we wouldn't continue the story, and she goes, "Stop fucking killing each other." Yeah. <laughs> you know, and then you hear all these rockets come across. They'd all shoot me in the face. They thought it was really hilarious. Oh, sure they do. <laughs> oh yeah. I was like, oh, that's fucking funny. <laughs> Awesome. I'm over it. <laughs> right. And I'm pretty sure my mom is shocked right now that I stopped playing WoW. Yeah, now I, we are. I just had to pick my job off the floor, but I'm good now. <laughs> okay. And it's still not oh, my yeah. birthday. It was and just he, And he'll cry if he wants to. <laughs> <laughs> right? That's what happens when you're like 50. Oh. 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 Uh. Fourth <laughs> yeah. podcast, you guys. Ron, take it away. Screw you, show son. Join us every Saturday at 11 p.m. Eastern, 8 p.m. Pacific for the all-new Six Gaming Podcast right here on YouTube.